Hey, what's up guys, it's Gathalion, welcome back to Destiny. Uh, recently, um, Game Informer been dropping a lot of information on Take a King, uh, interviews with guys like Luke Smith and such, and there's a few interesting points in there that really make me excited about uh, the future of Destiny, not just the Take a King, but, you know, year two, year three, plus beyond. And, um... I want to touch back on something that always worried me, and that was the inherent identity crisis that that uh, Destiny and Bungie always had with their game. You know, they always were saying it's a shared world shooter, and they always they always focused on the shooter aspect of it, and the the shoot the shoot the shoot 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 and actions and shooty and shoot shoot this shoot that. But they sort of always strayed away from you know directly admitting that this game has any uh, MMO or RPG type roots. I mean, the RPG type roots are clearly there, and the MMO tie-ins are clearly there, and it shares a lot with MMOs. I'm not saying that is a straight-up MMO. It's, if anything, it's an MMO light or an MMO. Not quite an MMO, but just MMO enough. Um, but in recent interviews, uh, Bungie employees have uh, admitted that they are going to be embracing the RPG-ness of Destiny, and a lot of that starts with the Take a King. Um, more so and directly with its uh, questification, which it takes all the quest lines and quest chains and gives them to you in a nice neat menu and displays them in a very familiar way to uh, RPG players and MMO players. Um, other than that, they are giving you more options as to how to outfit your character and make your character more unique, focusing on more RPG type stats. Um, from the looks of it, there might even be uh, resists. Um, moving forward inside of Destiny, uh, resists, meaning like uh, elemental resists on your armor. Uh, there were people at E3 and uh, and at uh, um, Gamescom that said that armors would have stats such as, you know, uh, uh, take, you know, three times damage from an arc burn rather than four. So reducing your overall arc damage taken and then as well as like, uh, you know, all arc damage uh, weapons now get like bonus magazine and things like that um, so they are they are leaning more towards the the character customization and RPGness of destiny which I think in the long run is really gonna work out well for the game I think the more they embrace the RPG and MMO sides of the game the more people will react positively to it I say this because there's a lot of good shooters out there um, destiny yes is a satisfying shooter um, it feels good to play. Uh, the action is quick, and the controls are tight. But it, you know, it is—it's—it's it's definitely not alone in the arena of of good shooters. And I think what's really going to set Destiny apart from the other shooters, and it's—it's it's what set Borderlands apart from myself and anybody else who was really addicted to Borderlands, is—is is the RPGness of it. Just really embracing that character progression RPG type style that they have inside of games like Destiny and Borderlands. Um, so I think going into year two, they're taking the gamble and saying, you know what, we think that if we embrace this, if we continually to focus on um, on the RPG factors of the game, then it'll pay off for the game long term. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree. I'm definitely going to agree. I think there's a lot of work to be done as far as focusing on the RPG side of things. But um, I think it's definitely a step in the right direction in... Um, in, nope, that's not what I wanted to do, Xbox. And in, um, in progressing the game into into being what it could be, into you know, it, it definitely has the potential to really step up and be something super unique and special. But the identity crisis with uh, with with Destiny is really, I felt something that held it back. But it looks like they're moving away from it. How do you guys feel about this as Destiny players? Are you the kind of players who were kind of glad that they strayed away from being, you know, directly an FPS MMO? Or are you the kind of person who really got addicted because of character development? Um, I feel like if you're the kind of person who just wants a straight-up shooter, then perhaps Destiny wasn't for you from the get-go. But, um, I don't know. I'm very, very super excited about this next year, and I think there's a lot of cool surprises in store for us from Bungie. As far as the RPGness and R RPGification of Destiny, where the fuck is this goddamn chest? I can never find the chest out here. Somebody's gonna come in the video and be like, "You went past it like four times. You're bad. I am bad. 
Anyways, guys, let me know. Very interested to see what you guys have to say about that. As always, thank you for watching, and I'm going to see y'all back inside of Destiny.